making your laundry soft and smell good. And I've got some great tips for you today. They're all natural, they're easy to do, they're inexpensive. What else would you expect from me, right? First of all, the one I'm going to make for you is similar to this. It's a softener and it's a freshener. It will give the air some scent. It will scent your laundry. But it has a ton of warnings on the back. And one of the biggest ones is not to use it on anything that has fire retardant properties for your children. So I'm going to show you how to make this. It's quick. It's easy. Now, all I'm going to use is two cups of Epsom salts. Now, you can buy this at the grocery store, the drug store, anywhere like that. Very, very inexpensive. And we're going to put that into a bowl, just like this. To that, we're going to add about 15 drops of lavender. And if you want it a little stronger, you can make it a little stronger. You know, make one up, see how you like it, and then change it to suit yourself. We're going to put about the same number of drops of orange, sweet orange, in. And then we're just going to mix that really, really well together. Now you'll get it mixed up really well, put it into a labeled jar, and then you'll add about a tablespoon or two to the wash cycle. Oh, it smells so good. Your clothes, your sheets, everything will smell great. They'll be soft and the room will smell awesome, which is almost as good. Now, you can also make a sheet to go in your dryer that will scent your clothes, and you can make it any smell you like, whatever fragrance you like. What I do is I take just some plain washcloths. Now, I got these very inexpensive at Walmart, got an eight pack, and what you're gonna do is fold them in half, then you're going to pick the scent you want. Now, I have here a tea tree, and I have a rosemary, but whatever you like is fine. And we're going to sprinkle about 10 drops down that cloth. Then I'm going to take it, and I'm going to roll it up tight, and I'm going to put it in my hand, and I'm going to squeeze it. Because by wringing it, that's what puts the fragrance through the cloth. Put them in to a container that's labeled and has a lid. When you're ready to dry the clothes, pull one out, toss it in, toss a couple in if you're doing a large load, and they will scent that load. Now, last but not least, people love scented linens. And you love lavender sprays for them, so I'm going to make a natural one here for you. We're going to take about two tablespoons of water. We're going to take about two tablespoons of either witch hazel or vodka. Use some cheap vodka. That makes the spray dry faster so it doesn't leave spots. And you're going to mix that together. Mix it up really well. And when you're ready to spray, put it in any bottle you like. I like these little blue ones just because they look a little spa-like. And then you're going to just shake it up and give it a spritz. Now, if you've got people coming to stay with you, be mindful of people who might have allergies. And lavender can be toxic to cats. So keep that in mind, and you're good to go. Now, looking for a printable copy of all this? Go to queenofclean.com. Check me out at Real Queen of Clean on Facebook and Instagram. And thanks for talking dirty with the Queen of Clean.